Hello, my name is Brittany Merritt and I work for DSST Public Schools as the Manager of Student Recruitment. And today we're gonna to go through how to fill out a school choice application for the 2021-2022 school year. So we're gonna pull up our web browser on our phone or desktop, and we're gonna to try to get to the School Mint website. You can do this by one of two ways. You can go to dps.schoolmint.net or you can put in school mint dps click on the first option and it should take you there we're going to sign in and you can sign in one of two ways you can sign in through your parent portal account or in a previous video i went through how to set up a school choice account so we're going to use that information now and then we're going to sign in. So then the application process is going to take you to this main page. Let's create your family profile to get started. So let's get started. We're going to do relationship to student. There's multiple options. I'm going to choose mother, parent guardian name, that's my first name, my last name, address. If you live in an apartment number, an apartment, you would put your apartment unit and suite number right here. Um, your city, Denver, or it could be somewhere else. Um, the state of Colorado, your zip code, your mobile number. This sign just indicates that um, data rates may apply based on your wireless carrier rate plan. Um, double check your email address, and then you want to double check your contact preference. You can do email and text message, email only or text message only. For this video, I'm gonna do email and text message. Then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, click on the next button. We're gonna confirm that's the address we wanna use. And then we're gonna put in our student's information. So I'm gonna put in Kobe Bryant. Put his birthday, we'll say. August 10th of 2006. His gender. Um, for current DPS students, this is where you would put their student ID number or otherwise known as their lunch number. We're going to do their grade. So like the current grade for this school year, um, he's going into sixth grade. So we're going to do fifth grade. And then he's applying to sixth grade. And then address information, if he lives in the same household as you, or your student lives in the same household as you, you would just click on the address that's already provided or provide a new address if that is not the case. And then this is where you can add another student um, if you're doing this application for more than one student. So let's say you have someone who's also um, gonna be transitioning to kindergarten or preschool, you would um, add the same information and fill out the personal information here, or if it's just one student, you will click next. So then it's gonna take you to the actual application. This is gonna be um, pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we wanna make sure that the year that we're applying to is 21-22, since it's for the next school year. Make sure that the student that we're doing the application for is highlighted. So if you did more than one, you have to do this one at a time. That's really important. And so make sure that you're like going through this one at a time and that the grades fit. And then you click next. So you're gonna choose your preferred schools. There is a little box right here that to lets you know like what your projected school is. So the zone that you're in. Um, we're in the Greater Park Hills Central Park Enrollment Zone. And so um, if it was an address that wasn't my work address, it would give me my current school. I don't have that information available because this is a individual that I created from scratch, but um, it would have their current school. And then it's gonna let you know which schools are in your enrollment zone. So I have a couple of options. Um, and then schools that are not in your enrollment zone. I'm going to choose DSST Mott View, DSST Conservatory Green, 
and then DSST Cole. And then if you wanna see more schools, you can click on this option and they'll provide more schools based off of how close you are to them. I'm gonna click next and then I'm gonna rank schools. Um, ranking schools, you just literally click on like my first choice school. So the school that I most likely want my um, son or daughter to attend, we'll say Conservatory Green. The second school that I most likely want my child um, to attend, we'll say Montview, and then the third school that I, we most likely want our child to attend. And note that if you've already highlighted a school, you cannot click on them again. Um, and then you click Next. And then this is the application process. So it starts off with basic app information. Um, do you have, so if you had a student ID number, it would automatically populate if this was yes or no, if you have siblings currently attending a school in DPS. Um, and then if you are an employee of DPS, you would highlight yes or no here. I would say yes. And then you would put your employee name and the school that you work at. I'm gonna say no for the sake of this video. And then there's additional questions. Have you recently moved? Yes or no? Um, if you do yes, it just asks um, your data move, your previous school name, the city, the state, and the country. Um, required documents. So you can upload this information one of two ways. Um, if you're applying on a phone, you can take a picture, make sure that the picture is clear um, and that the information is easy to read and upload that way. Um, or you could, um, again, take a picture on your phone, make sure that the image is clear, uh, send that to your email address and save it onto your computer and then upload that way. Or you can go to a scanner, um, like at Kinko's, our FedEx and also upload it that way, send it to your email address, um, save it to your computer and upload it that way. So multiple options. Um, you wanna make sure that it's the verification of child's age, so a birth certificate, baptismal record, or hospital record, and then the verification of your current address, a copy of your current lease, proof of home ownership, or a utility bill, which is um, like gas, electric, or water, you would upload here. And then any additional verification documents, I'm gonna say no. But if you have custody documents, for example, um, if you had some additional proof of age, additional proof of income or address, um, you would put that here. And then um, if you're new to DPS or have moved, you just are saying that you'll submit required documents to the enrollment center for your student's enrollment application. So you just are acknowledging that. And then the last thing is the school choice acknowledgement. So does your student, they're gonna ask again if your student has a sibling who's currently attending a DPS school, yes or no. Is your child presently under consideration or under an expulsion order from any other school district, yes or no. Does your student have an individualized education plan, an IEP? Yes or no. If it's yes, you're going to upload those IEP documents here. If it's no, um, you just move past this. But we just want to make sure that we're providing high quality service to your child um, and making sure they get the services they need when they transition to their school. Um, is your student currently in and out of home foster placement? Yes or no. And then um, if your student is eligible for free or reduced price meals, yes or no. We'll say yes. Um, and then you can read the CDE guidelines to determine your student's eligibility if you're unsure. And then um, the languages that your child speaks, English, Spanish, or there's other language options. I'm going to say English. And then the demographic information, um, Hispanic or Latino, race of your student, gender of your student. And then this is just acknowledging that you were the legal guardian and you read the school choice agreement. Um, you can read the school choice agreement here. And that um, you acknowledge that you're submitting this application on behalf of your student. So 
you would type out your name. The signature date are automatically populates depending on the day you fill out the application. And then you would click next. Because this is an example video, I'm not going to submit next since I don't have a child that I'm trying to get into one of our schools. Um, but when you did submit next, it would um, let you know that congratulations, you completed your school choice application. Um, you um, are done with the process, essentially. It's that simple. Um, I do want to have a caveat that if there is, for whatever reason, you want to change the school you want to attend, so maybe you recognize you move in the middle of the school choice window, or you're going to be moving um, before the school year begins for next year, and you want your child to go to Montview instead of Conservatory Green because it's closer, you can go back into the application, go to rank schools, and change the ranking of that with the hope that you'll get into that school. But outside of that, that's how you fill out your school choice.